Hello everyone, welcome to Trigoma Academy. Today we will discuss about the service now HRST learning. What is HRST? HRST stands for Human Resource Service Delivery. So we will discuss the service now HRST. Okay, what are the capabilities? What are the key features of the service now? So today we will learn about the service now HRST. This is one of the most important application most important module of the service now and most demanding in it industries okay so let's start so the purpose of this presentation uh, of uh, uh, of this presentation is we will discuss the overview of the hrst module of the service now okay so we will try to capture all of uh, the major things which belong to the hrst domain in the service now so we will discuss and try to take an overview of the HRST module, right? So, what we will learn here, we will uh, learn what is HRSD, okay? Why HRSD is important for an organization and what are the key features of the HRSD? So, these three things we will majorly fo focus on this uh, uh, video. So, I would request you if you don't subscribe my channel, please subscribe my channel and watch the video till the end. Believe me, this video very helpful to you to understand the basic fundamental of the HRSD, how the HRSD platform is working on in the service now. Okay, so let's start. What is HRSD? Uh, HRSD is the application. HRSD is the module of the service now. HRSD belong for HRSD stands for Human Resource Service Delivery. Okay, HRSD is an application in service now platform which consists of various modules. Of to perform different HR activities okay HRSD you know containing various modules and it is uh, seamlessing the process of the HR activities basic uh, in one line we can say it will help us uh, it will help the organization to automate the HR activities in a single platform okay HRSD application automate all your daily routine tasks and HR activities to provide seamless services to the employee. Okay, the basic agenda, basic functionality of the HRSD application to automate the daily routine tasks and the HR activities to provide seamless services to the employees. Okay, so this is a single platform where you can manage all the uh, services and tasks and activities automate on a single platform. Okay. So these are the three uh, main uh, things, three main work which HRSD will perform. So this is the most demanding module in uh, IT industry because uh, not in an IT industry, it is not devoted to the IT industry. HR is the main part of any organization. So any organization which is, you know, which wants to automate the uh, HR services, they can implement the HRSD in their organization to automate the HR activity and task processes okay why hrsd is important for an organization because as you know hr is the main department hr is the main function of any organization which help to uh, strengthen the organization which help to the employee and management engagement and relationship okay so there are few uh, i am explaining here few uh, features few important things which is very important for any organization to implement the hrsd one is the develop positive uh, business culture because if you want to good business then you need uh, to develop a positive scenario positive business culture like employee wants to raise some request employee wants to some services expecting from the management then how can we fulfill manually it is very difficult so they simply in the if the hrsd implemented they just go to the portal and simple raise the request and that request is go to the particular department and the concerned department will take care of it okay so this is the positive business culture uh, there is a certain uh, timeline as well so we can discuss or uh, uh, set up the positive business culture okay improve employee engagement and productivity if the business culture is good definitely employee and management is uh, engage, engagement is good and the work productivity is also increased okay bridge between employee and organization okay there is a bridge which will help to employee to communicate with the higher management or the organization top management okay and management wants to convey anything or something like this then they can also convey to the employee this is a bi-directional approach so it will act as a bridge between the employee and the 
organization seamless onboarding okay seamless onboarding the, uh, in if you will see in the last 20 30 years ago in the 90s when the employee is joining there are the formalities like a documentation it will take a minimum one month or two months to complete the onboarding but if we implemented this hrsg in service now the seamless onboarding everything is uh, generated in the hr case management and associated tasks are generated and we need to check all necessary checklist and tasks so it will seamless onboarding don't it will not take time so it's reducing the time okay so this is a very important feature of the hr as the seamless onboarding one stop shop for any hr service there are a lot of services which organizations provide to their employees right so uh, the HRSG platform will provide you the one uh, HR portal where you can go and raise any request for any services and that uh, organization will fulfill their respective service within a certain period of time. So this is the one stop shop for any HR service if you want. This is the amazing feature. Uh, suppose that I will uh, share, uh, show you one example. I am the employee. I want mm, to... Uh, I want to take a leave for two or three days. I don't need to uh, go manually write the application and go to submit their boss and then again to the HR. We j I just need to go to the portal. I just go to the portal and submit the request from my calendar. That ticket is automatically generated and that ticket is assigned to the particular group member or my boss who is responsible for approving the activity. Then when this now, my boss is approving uh, my leave then it will redirect to the HR department and HR department will take care of the payroll and everything so it is interrelated and the one stop shop for any HR services okay what are the key feature of service now HRSG I am mentioning here the some of the key features of the service now HRSG which are most important feature and most amazing feature of the service now HRSG First one is the HR case and knowledge management. This is a one of the best, one of the top most module of an other uh, HR uh, SD module. Okay, in which HR case, if sir, if any employee want to uh, raise any request, then it will convert it to the HR case and assign to the particular guru, and the concerned member of the group will take care of this and fulfill your request. Okay, and the knowledge management. Okay, see in the HR we have a different different policies different different knowledge articles so what we can do HR uh, can uh, publish their article on their portal so they don't need to explain to each employee the employee can go to the portal and just read all of all about the uh, policies and the whatever the policies or whatever the knowledge article published on the HR portal so this is the very amazing feature employee service center this is the separate employee service center whatever the employee centric services we can publish here so or we can develop the employee service central according to this okay hr integration hr integration one of the top most um, feature of the hrsg in the hr integration we can integrate the hr uh, platform with the third party application like uh, employee central salesforce or any other uh, uh, third party application which we want to integrate suppose that Recently, I have implemented HR with the success factor employee central. So there is a bi-directional approach. We are passing something to the employee central, employee central passing to our service now. So we understand and updating the record in uh, HRSD service now. So it is the amazing feature, bi-directional approach. Okay, HR performance analytics. We can in the HR performance analytics we can uh, uh, we can measure our team performance. We can. Uh, uh, evaluate the performance of the team and management and give the rating so that will help uh, to the organization at the time of the at the time of the increment and the appraisal okay so this is also the amazing feature of the and we can uh, track out the how the employee and management relationship perform and how the employee relationship is going on from last we can come back from last year to this year how the attrition rate are there how the resigning rate are there so lot of things we can evaluate and uh, analytics on the based of the performance okay employee document management this is also the one of the most important feature employee document management in which we are maintaining the all documents of the employee which are very highly confidential so we can uh, man maintaining all employee documents in this uh, module with like uh, employee employee salary slips employee uh, educational certificates employee 
uh, income tax certificate there is a lot of confidential documents we can manage here which uh, will help to any organization to maintain in a single platform okay the last one is the now mobile app for hrs this is also the amazing feature this is the, the android application um, now mobile application onboarding if the anyone is onboarding or want to add any you know uh, raise any request for their respected team member then he can uh, access this mobile and no need to log into the portal you just need to approve or reject the request on the portal okay so these are the main key feature of the service now here i am uh, uh, mentioning how how hrsd will you know ease the life of uh, the employee okay suppose uh, one employee i am providing a service these are the broad services hrsd ke containing okay i am the employee i want to book a conference room so i don't need to go to the hr and give the written application to them and then they will approve to book a, a conference room i just in the hrsd if we if any organization implemented the hrsd i just need to the go portal on the hr portal and i just raise the request to book a conference room and there i can see the availability and unavailability of the conference room so i just need to pick the availability and uh, raise the request and the book, conference room is automatically work okay if i uh, if i you know uh, need a compensation adjustment then i raise the request if i need a new laptop for my any team mate then i can raise a request if any promotion performance and tax i can raise a request if i am traveling anywhere i need a visa then i can request a travel visa a request a lot of uh, services are covering to you know to provide the better seamless services to the uh, employees so this is a very amazing feature okay organize employee interaction by functional discipline we, it will help to the uh, discipline the organization as well to functional discipline how can we do it this diagram will help you uh, these are the coe center for excellence hr employee relations they are the different different tables when we will take a separate session on the hrsd technical things then we will discuss how can be what plugins needs to be installed if we wants to go uh to the implement the hr as a lot of things we will discuss in the separate session but here i am mentioning how can uh it will help us uh, to understand uh, to handle the functional discipline one is the hr employee relations okay hr employee relations the disciplinary issue we can handle under this table hr employee relations hr payroll if we have any issue related to the payroll like compensation adjustment need a corporate card or any payroll issue then we can go to the hr payroll hr life cycle event if we hiring any new employee or promotion then we can under handle the hr life cycle event hr talent management if we you know uh, we want to any non disclosure agreement want to update or the travel visa request then we can handle all things or raise a request under the hr talent management and uh, hr total rewards if we wants like uh, any parental leave or absence maternity leave or update any emergency contact medical benefits and any a uh, type of award is given then we can handling there is a separate coe that is the hr total rewards hr it operations if you if you want to handle any such type of issue related to the it operations then we can raise a request under the hr it operations like i need a new laptop cannot connect to wireless need to uh, reset my password okay so these are the coe and how it is working in the service now this is the diagram will show you and i hope this will help you a lot okay in the the last diagram i am mentioning use an hr service to build a build and deliver great experience for an employee if all things are in a single platform so employee feel much better and great experience see if employee want any service like it service hr service facility service finance service or legal service they just need to go to the hr portal and just, just request or raise the request according to that and concerned group of department will take care of it. like if the company having or uh, the employee have facing some issue in the email then he just go to the portal and it and mention the re request or raise the request can't send email need to reset my password need a new laptop phone or whatever the services the company design i am just explaining here some of the few examples if the employee needs a hr service in need any hr policy just go to the hr a portal and raise or check the request like find an hr policy change my address update my emergency contact facilities if you want if employee wants to book a conference room or a need a office movement whatever he want to do then he can just go to the portal and raise the request so see this is the one stop shop platform 
to you know seamless process seamless HR process to the employee okay La the second last is of finance if anyone uh, employee wants uh, some issue in the finance then payroll issue need a corporate credit card or whatever uh, need to purchase something or there any uh, personal organization uh, uh, facilities then just go to the finance and raise a request and they will help you on this there is a SLA also design on this the final one is the uh, legal if uh, a company if an employee any wants on legal confirmation or legal like compensation adjustment NDA do it or whatever legal things as per the company design then he can discuss okay uh, so mm, I hope this video this presentation will help you a lot to understand what is HRSD how the HRSD is working and what are the benefits HRSD you know provide to the employees and the organization so this is the amazing feature of the HRSD we will uh, we will take another videos to see the practical examples how uh, how the HRSD is working in the practically in the uh, service now platform okay thank you for watching my video thank you so much if you like my video then please subscribe my channel and like and share my video thank you so much thank you so much uh, for watching